poor never change. <laughs> oh boy. Now, some some people have said tax in my game. <laughs> yeah, that's great. In in your game. Look, this is for entertainment. I, I understand a lot of people are like, well, in my game, I never lost anybody. And I'm like, uh, doubt. So, um, where were we? David Fritz. All right. We, we, we had some people that, uh, died. So we need more people, don't we? Let's check the list. Game over, man! Right, so a lot of people have said, Tex, I want to get on the list, and I want to understand why I can't be on the list. Well, let me explain something. Twice. What default roll equipment? This is, oh, wait, that's right. He's a rifleman, not a burno. Look, pe people wanted to be on on the list, and I put the list up twice. And if you if you didn't get your name on the list, it's because either one, your notifications have been turned off, which means when you hit that little bell icon in the corner, you have to hit the little gear and make sure all your notifications are actually turned on. And some people's have been turned off regardless, which is just YouTube being a cock slap. Um, so I put the list up twice. Those people responded before I checked. Or after I checked. Yeah. Well, eh, look, I got as many as I could. It's it's many pages. Which we're mostly through now. I will call for volunteers as the war dictates. Slim pickings. He wants to be a demo man? Okay. <laughs> Let me go to the store and give you some pow pow. Boop. It's C4. C4 is mostly safe. Mostly. Mostly safe. Now, this thing has been crashing. Uh, it's because I have all this shit going on, and uh, the game is like, please, that's too much shit. And I'm like, no, more! And it's like, please don't do this. After this, it's probably going to be Jagged Alliance 2 with a 113 patch. Um, maybe some mods. Not sure. Not sure how that's going to work on Windows 10 and recording. Um, but it's definitely in my to-do mix. Once this is done, I'm going to try to replace it with something equally strategy-ish. Um, I've thought about doing open XCOM as well. But, uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, open XCOM with the XCOM files thing sounds too cool. Oh, cool. Hakim the Dream Malaysia one. I forgot where we left off on this list. I, I think we had a glitch or crash or two. Because you have to understand, it, it, it's, it's been between... It's, you know, it's it's been... Uh, it, it's a little bit... Of time between recordings. And, uh, yeah. But Hakeem the Dream Elijah on, man. Houston Rockets! I used to have t shirts from them when I was a youngin. Hakeem the Dream Elijah one! Talk about an awesome fucking name. Dude, that sounds like a goddamn wizard. Who are you? I am Hakeem the Dream! And then lightning! And you're like, oh fuck, it's Hakeem! He melts you! British Pete. British Pete is now in the game. British people everywhere have lowered their teacups in interest, if not horror. Howard the Alien. Howard the Alien. I mean, all right. How are the alien? Change your equipment, buddy. I apologize if things fuck up. This game is like that. It be like it do. Sometimes you think it not be like it do, but it is. Honk Master 69. Burno. You have been assigned to squad. 
Some people have said, why don't you bring out the vehicle techs? I need to see tanks and stuff shooting things. I understand. But the vehicles suck at this point in the game. At this point in the game, they will shoot it twice and it will blow up. And you're like, well, that was half my squad parts. Sucks. I'm Believe me, I wish vehicles would like fucking go in there and just crush shit. You know, like third shock army. Just, ah, for Mother Russia and just crush things. But no. All right. Uh, who is next? Asitra. A-S-Y-T-R-A. Were your parents hippies? Because I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm assuming. Didn't you write notes? Hold on, let me look. You did! You know how incompetent I am. Thank you. I, I can't. I don't know. I mean, it's not like your name is Lavender or like something. Those, those, those people who name their kids after like flowers or what the fuck. Uh, then again, my parents almost named me Oscar and Pascal. I'm glad they got that out of their, uh, out of their brain meats. UFO detection, gotta shoot it down, it's a giant UFO. Fucking shoot you down? Send again to Hogan. Man, they really, I, I need to, I need to send in some of these dudes to try to, oh my god, Battle Britain here. Bam. Knocked you down. Can't believe they all just... You guys are dicks. Base under attack. Vessel destroyed. Yeah. It, it's called investing in air defense. That or I would make a nice flat place where they could land and then I would just make it essentially a giant trap. All right, now, what we need to do is wait until our boys, okay, wait wait until our boys are all ready. Oh, look, he survived. Spade survived. Well, someone's getting kicked off the team for now. Um, let's see. Who was the last one I added? Bob Cove, was it? Was it Bob Cove? No, it was you. All right, you're 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 on a sign for the moment. For the moment, I need I need my like elite leadership. Otherwise, everyone is going to drop their guns. And everyone who's made it to top level, top tier, top drawer, is gonna be heavy weapons. I'm sorry, but that's just how it has to be at this point. Is, is we need as many people with the turbo blasties. We, we desperately need people with these. Oh yeah, I should probably give them some medical kits as well. I don't care how heavy all this is. They're going to get strong. There. Yeah. Don't worry, ma'am. You'll be you'll be right back up to where you need to be very shortly. Because I have a feeling all these people are gonna die badly. Look, like, far western Europe slash Western Europe in general is gonna be in trouble. We know this, you know this. Why are these aliens being dicks? Oh my god. What we need is like some Douglas Sky Raiders. So as soon as they land, you just have these fucking planes circling. Like <laughs> Just strafing them constantly. We're like, when are they going to leave? They got a lot of loiter time. Mmm. My voice started to go there for a second. I was like, that's why you got the water. All right. You know what? Yeah. I, I know some people are better at this game. Uh, this is a Black Pants playthrough. I wish there was an ability to invest in... Oh my god, they have a base here. Why? Why would you do that? Now I have to go up there. Fucking Canada. Of course it's in Canada. God, rural Canada might as well be the moon. I was, I was looking at... Like, 
because uh, I, I don't like crowds, so I was looking at places to live, and uh, holy shit, rural Canada. Holy shit. That is some next level crazy. All right, you are going to be door guy, and you are going to be shoot mans, and you are going to be shoot mans, and you are going to be shoot mans, and you shield guy right there. All right, so two doors. Two doors. Whoa. Overcome with dread. Oh my god, look at how much dread. That's a lot of dread. That's where they keep their UFO. That's my real spaceship. I've seen too much, entirely too much of regular car reviews. That's my real car. That's my real gun. See, I don't like this being open. That bothers me. Of course, we put these guys in the back row because that won't haunt us. <clears throat> I know who this is supposed to be. Jan Nielsen. That's the default name. This should have been Liquid Video, Baton and Shield. Goddamn fucking alien guys with their dick shit. I don't like it. By the way, never, never look up dick and shit. Don't Google anything I say. That's probably why I'm getting demonetized. Oh my god, he, has, he teleported right behind us. Nothing personnel, kid. Ugh. Kill me. I, I know that's from an anime. And also from a Space Station 13 episode. Um, one that a lot of people thought was one of the best I did, which was just another random episode on TG to me, but. Oh my god. Some people have asked me, like, do you watch the anime? No. I like old westerns, I like film noir. God damn. Fucking aliens. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw a lot of flares out there. Where are they? Holy shit. Where do you get that? You fucking dick. Everybody. Everybody. Oh, he's panicked. Yeah, see, everyone's suppressed. Look how, look how low their little happy bar is. From just one alien blast. Everyone's like, oh, oh, poop. Must poop. Oh. They've lost their mind. They've lost it. Yeah! Just because you've got guns that are good doesn't mean you're not gonna... You're probably gonna win, but, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot back with with my space guns, and they're, they're gonna do the job. Wow, guys. What kind of special forces are you? Are you special forces or are you special forces? Alright, look, where's... God damn it. You. You. No, he's gonna have to run there. It's too heavy for him. He's like, I didn't ask to be a commanding guy. Well, you shouldn't have survived then. Alright, we're gonna save some of our people. Oh! Oh no! God damn! What kind of guns are they getting now? Turbo laser guns! That's two men down. 
First rank kneeling, second rank fire. Present. Oh, he's berserking by shooting the wall. Everyone else is just losing their shit. All right, let's see. Who hasn't panicked? Is is the fairer question. God damn. Even the basic little alien guys get a lot of hit points now. I say, present arms. Them hooligans in the large cornfield. I say, he has he has avoided shot by standing uh, presentedly so. I shall give him some of this uh, poo gas. Yes. Mm. Have some of that, you by Jew. <laughs> yeah, these aliens have remarkably good accuracy. My guy's remarkably bad accuracy. But that is Xenonauts in a nutshell. At a certain point, there is a curve in this game's difficulty where it's like, ah, this game's fine, it's all good. Dead! It's, it's just so bad. There's nothing you can do that is right at, past a certain point. It is really, really hard to do well. And that's fine. That's part of it. Well, this guy needs to pick up his rifle because I'm not giving him another one. What? Oh. Alright. I was going to say, like, what the fuck? What? Why? Why is it doing that? It's acting a bit strange. I... What? Hello? Are you acting so strangely? I, I guess I can't see things. This game is remarkably stable, I just wanted to say. I'm gonna guess this guy. He's gonna get some. I have to go on the offensive now. They have taken my numbers and my men. Shotgun! I cast Blasto, sir! Have at thee! Blast him! Yeah, the, these guys have been getting swole this whole time. Those, those little... Those little red shirt motherfuckers. They, they have not... They have not been... Uh, just sitting idly by... They get tougher and tougher as the game goes on. Because at first, when you see those guys, you're like, Wow, a bullet kills them! Oh, they're not so different from us! And now it's like, oh, shit! They just get remarkably harder. And you're like, God damn it. I fucking hate this. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Hawkmaster, he has afraid. <laughs> Breathe gas! Take that, Frogulon. Do you wish for more? Because I may not have more. That gas is expensive to make. Oh, God, there's two of them. All right, well, you know what? You know what? Uh, we have prepared for this. Not really, but... Eh! Have some of that reload. Uh, True Geth, get here, because I need someone who knows how guns work. Uh, everybody up here, you run over here. Da 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 da, tact cool, get over there. Get there. Everybody in place, reload. Oh no! 
That was accurate. Oh shit, he came from the shadows. With turbo gun. From the shadows he approached with a gun that shot lightning! Well, not really, but that would be fucking crazy. Like, we're in District 9 where they, they start trying those alien guns and one just, like, shoots lightning in all directions and then blows that pig up. You're like, holy fuck. We know not with whom we have fucked. These guys could wipe us out if they chose to. Uh, I like how it just makes an angry noise. Just, eh. Eh. I'm just going to look and make sure they don't teleport behind me. Because you know they can do that, right? They absolutely can. And look at that. Just turbo gun. And he can fire it like four times around. Oh, it's so cheap. You fucking dicks. It's almost like Diablo 2 bat bosses where it's like, it's constantly spamming this attack. Good luck. And it just becomes bullet hell. Oh, please don't shoot your own guys. You shot your own guys. Now, arguably, Xenonauts is harder than the original XCOM. Uh, because, well, you, you don't get your own psychic guys. And and your guys arguably just get, just get absolutely massacred when it comes down to psychic resistance and all that. I'm just going to keep throwing gas at this guy. Please go to sleep. It's past your bedtime. I can't believe you shot your own boy there. That is really low. Okay. That is really low. That is... I'm really upset with you. The way a parent is upset at a child that was caught cheating. I cannot shoot my gun, for it is too large. But he he cannot shoot his gun either, for it is too large. I've suppressed you with shotgun. I like how he's just in the gas and choosing not to be affected by it. Like, nah! Nope. Not for me. It's not for me, this gas. I'm like, God damn it! The science nerd said this would work. The science nerd lied to me. Eh. All right, we're gonna run over here. Howard the alien dropping your fucking ray gun. Fucking dick. You know how expensive those are? These things probably cost as much as an F-35. But everybody's just financing this war on junk bonds. You know that, right? This is this is not a war that's pot, bought and, you know, fought and paid for and all that by responsible means. It's, it's just not. That's not what happens in these sorts of things. This is... This is a war that is bought and paid for by junk bonds. This this is a war that is paid for by people who have a chance to make uh, a, oh god have a chance to get a chunk of the uh, revenue afterwards. Like you're promised the future of ray gun technology. You're promised sole uh, right to reprocess and sell. You know, uh, all of this material, and they, they they would just dump shitloads of real money into these projects, and they need to buy war bonds and everything else. I mean, this this is a junk bond effort. That is what all this is, and this guy is pinned down hopelessly right now. My alien bastards. And my newbies are useless. <laughs> <laughs> Run back into cover. Howard. Nice. 
Holy shit, Howard. Who taught you how to shoot? Because it wasn't us. See? Most of us shoot like that. See, that one looks all deflated. <laughs> just... <clears throat> he's, he's just done. Okay. He's done as best he can. Alright, British Pete, into the breach. Uh, and Fritz... Oh, you're wounded. I'll leave the wounded people behind so they can... I don't know. Something, something. Maybe this guy will be able to shoot his gun next round. It's way too heavy for him to shoot. He's just like, Ugh, It's so heavy! War is heavy! Oh my god, Liquid Video died. Well, his name was like, Yeah, Nielsen! But you get the point. He, um... The aliens just have super turbo, full power, cannon, blasty gun that can kill multiple people around now. And that's their common rifle. So, um... This is this is some pretty heavy shit. At this point in the game, it gets very difficult. Because a bad round of combat results in you losing a dude. He can't shoot. He's just, it's, war is too heavy! Arr. There he is. Didn't even suppress that guy. Meanwhile, the uh, actual competent people over here. All right, we we need to run. We need to make them come to us. Oh my god. See, he's gonna get... Yep. One dude around. I mean, easily one dude around. Um, easily is, is kind of what they can do at this point in the game. Oh, he's berserking. Please shoot the enemy. Please, please, please. That's the wall! You are a dick. I know I probably shouldn't take any doobies on a base raid, but it is kind of funny. Um, look, the the thing is, is that, like I said, at this point in the game, you because you start feeling pretty good when you start getting new weapons. You're starting to win that uh, arms raise. You're like, yeah, we're going to win. And then they just bring out the better shit, which is maybe them converting these weapons for your atmosphere and gravitational conditions and everything else and then all of a sudden you're like fuck like maybe they they weren't using their full power weapons because they wanted to preserve some of you but now they're like okay they want to fight back with sticks fine and they go from the alien equivalent of the martini henry to the alien equivalent of the smle and uh, you, you suddenly find yourself in, in a lot more trouble. I mean, not, not trying to shit talk the Martini Henry. Good gun uh, for its time, but certainly not like the, the power of a Lee Enfield. Get off my lawn. Oh, that's empty. That's the click clack. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fall back and make them come to me. This this guy's just running. Yeah, he's he's back there just shooting at us. He's paralyzing us one at a time with his mind rays. He's like -da 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 -da, mind rays. That's the sound of mind rays, by the way. Mind mind rays. All right, let's let's all take a knee. I know someone's gonna say, 
I, I know it. I know someone's going to say, Tex, the game only starts to crash when you start to lose. The game starts to crash when I make any significant decisions. But I'm just, I'm just trying to go through this uh, Iron Man mode, you know. I don't want to save load. I, I just want to go right through. Well, I have to save some, otherwise I'd have to start over every episode. But you, you know what I mean. Like, I, I, I want to... I want to make this have some feel of permanence. You're along for my ride, and it ain't a good one. Mr. Bones, I want to get off the wild ride, please. I love how this is not working. But that is. BAM! I wonder if the second Xenonauts is good. It might be. It might be. We shall see. In a world with dreams and lasers. All right. So all the all the newbies are gonna be like scared in a corner. I mean, this this lady is like, I want to join the military, and they're like, Well, can you lift that gun? No, but I wish to join. I don't know what accent that's supposed to be. Uh, I think it's called made up, and I'm entitled to do it. See, I'm, I'm entitled to say a lot of stuff because of the autism and how our society works. So, I can be like, what an autistic spaz. And people are like, don't say that. And I'm like, actually, I'm autistic. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, so I can say it. Isn't that fucked up? And then they feel bad. But they also feel bad that I'm allowed to have fun. We were back when we could just make fun of each other. And that was okay. God damn, these aliens, they, they're just, I have the best weapons, really. Well, not really, there's still that antimatter bazooka thing that's pretty ridiculous. And look at this guy, he just point blank range, doo -doo -doo. he's fine. Fuck! Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, we are, we are going to be able to shoot him with a gun, or we will be able to stun him. I love that all of these are missing. Just die. I mean, holy shit. How many hit points does this asshole have? That's not useful. Reload. 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 Oh, man. Oh, please, did he walk into the gas or something? Please. Please. Please, Space Jesus. Give me a sign. Here we go. No, he's hiding in there. I know it. I know there's one over there hiding in the shadows. Die! I knew it! I saw it in my brain. If there is a shadow, it is full of alien. Your guys can see 12 feet in the dark. That is it. No more, no less. He's berserking. Please don't shoot your guy with that 12. Oh, God. He's like, I'm spooked! <laughs> I'm gonna lean out, it's, it, and I can't see him. <laughs> He's not there, but he is. Oh, this is bad. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is where it's gonna get exciting. Yeah, he's he's hiding like right around that corner, and we can't see him.
Jesus. We're getting shot, man. Game over, man. Game. Oh, what? <laughs> it crashed. Game over and it crashed. <laughs> All right, let me verify. Um, let me let me go ahead and verify all my files. Cause what the fuck? All right. I may have fixed it. Um, I had to reacquire some game files. It was like, files need to be acquired. I'm like, what the fuck? You can't tell me there was an update between now and then. And then I had to make sure all my mod load order was actually working. Oh my god, I feel so stupid in all this. Yeah, Nielsen, that, first of all, let's fix that. Uh, uh, plug? You should go by Spinucci the Pug. That sounds like an awesome name for a dog. I mean, Jesus. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Sounds like an awesome name for a dog. All right. Second of all, um... Oh, my God. Ugh. You. You were getting shot down. Whatever happens, I, I will have a new team. Oh my god, that's too big for a new team. Because I tried to go after a base last time, and that was apparently a mistake. Um, apparently the game was trying to, you know, trying to correct me. It was like, no, don't do that. Please. See? Look, wow. It just, start, it just built that base in the same spot. What the fuck? It's kind of weird. In the same spot. Isn't that strange? In the same spot. What's with that? Oh, these guys are going to hit my base. And you lose. It's not always guaranteed that they will lose, by the way. Um, and in fact, it, if they hit with big enough stuff, it's kind of guaranteed they'll win. Dino Nuts is not fair. I, I don't want anyone to think that this game is fair. Alright, look, we've got our people. He's survived. We have our team. Do we have enough vehicle space? Yeah, there's no garage here, so that might be a problem. All right, we're we're going to need to train up our team with like uh, a small a small UFO or something so I can get a bunch of people that aren't just like babies first UFO team. I mean, that's the idea. Because I every time I see one of those things, I'm like, I gotta kill it right away! And that doesn't always work out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I it, it's just like a bull sing red. I go right for it. Which, I understand strategically, in a, in a real thing, like, you gotta destroy the alien base! That, that makes sense, but... You know, and, um... In my own weird way, I mmm mmm it rankles. That's it's that's the soil of holy terra. They are defiling, and it drives me nuts. All right, so it, it's time to go down our list again. Brian McClellan. Wait, wasn't he already on the list? Let's let's double check because there was oh yeah, he would have gotten two. I'm sorry, but that's for Patreon people. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Alright, um... Ugh, alright. Game over, man. There you go.
Slim Pickens. I just named you after one of my favorite actors of all time. Slim Pickens. And you want to be a demo man. There. That's that's good, right? Someone's like, no, that seems bad. Too bad you're in my let's play. Hakeem the Dream. Oh, Hakeem. The Dream Elijah One. Hell of a basketball man. British Pete. Welcome to Team British Pete. Howard the Alien. His alien name is Howard. Oh, I, I fuck up. Howard the Alien again. But da but da 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 da. Hulk Master Sixth Man. Change roll, Bruno. Here we go, boys and girls. That is our, that is our team, our company of heroes. You stay out of my airspace. I hate it. I hate that you do this. Oh my god! Look at that. They now have two bases. Shit. Well, this it's this an alien fortress and that's an alien fort. Which one do I go for? I mean, okay. I ah damn it. I need at least one. I need at least one small mission in order to give my guys a chance. They're only coming down in cruisers at the moment, which is crazy. That's crackers, Jim. All right. Oh my God! Look at look at that. They're just coming down right on top of me. Oh God! The alien invasion is bad now. That landing ship I could probably get if I could clean my airspace between us and it. Which is not a given. But I'll take the mods. I mean, you, you really gotta try. Oh my god. So Southern Africa's lost and everyone else is like it, it's kind of, it's stable for now. But this is this is definitely where it's starting to get crazy. This is where I'm not going to be able to do like multiple months in an episode. This is this is definitely a part of the game where you're like, oh, "Okay, All right, sweet. Now we're going to have multiple of decent fighters in all theaters of combat. All right, boys. But after this, no lie, we're gonna have to actually. I gotta watch because if they if they intercept my my boys, if they intercept my boys with fighters or anything, they're all dead. So that sucks. 
Oh my god, this is this is nerve wracking. <laughs> it's just like, oh, can't lose men. I figure like one or two low level alien uh, fucko missions. Didn't I give Spinucci the plug a shotgun? Yeah, I have that written down on my notes. Shotgun. Did I rename the wrong guy? I probably renamed the wrong guy. I feel stupid. Then again, that's not uncommon. The problem with having any degree of intellect is you soon realize how ignorant you are. It, the people who are really exceptionally stupid, the, the really exceptionally stupid people in this world, would be like, I'm the smartest man there is. I can figure out anything, but I am constantly baffled by shit. I keep running into things that are terrifying. And fascinating, but mostly terrifying. I think this is robots. It feels like robots. I'm definitely feeling robots out there. Let's find that UFO, boys. Let's find that UFO. Oh, wait, that's Spinucci the Plug. Did I just name Jan Nielsen the... You should be liquid video. I, I have fucked your name up twice. He's like, Patreon delete! In fact, I, I didn't go down the Patreon list. Why, if I, I showed my contempt for those people in a different way, I, I put them on my bomber crew list. Oh, huh? What was that? Oh, no. Yeah, the bomber, the bomber crew list has my Patreon people on it, and I'm just massacring all of them. I wanted people to know how, how very little I value everything. But yeah. Let's just... Let's just hope that we kill all the aliens before they kill all of us. They're gonna kill all of us. In fact, in an alien invasion, I would hand it to the aliens. Like, nine times out of ten. Because they could just sit back... And, and, like, dump their septic tank on us, and then we would suddenly have a whole bunch of pathogens and bacteria. There's Farmer Brown. He's like, listen here. You fuck with my corn. You get the corn and, oh, they're shooting at us. They're shooting at us. Then the other thing is, like, if, if, if they're, like, up at the top of, like, a gravity well... They could effectively just drop stuff on us all day, and we would lose. They wouldn't need to do anything even remotely sophisticated. Just drop stuff on us. Be like, wow, I dropped this from high up, and it's made out of metal. You're dead. Be like, fuck. That's cheating. It's robots. I knew it. I I think I've resolved the crash issues. Last time was too funny to not have a crash, I guess. When I said game over and then it just crashed. Um... I was expecting another wipe. But in this game, it is really hard. It is really terrifically hard to recover at this stage in the game from a total wipe. It It's very hard. It tends to snowball. Now, I'm in this to win it or lose it. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to do this one. So if I lose... And the end of it's game over? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have a bad ending. That's how this works. I'm I'm not gonna play and save scum until we win. I did play this long ago when this came out, and I beat it. 
and with, without many mods at all. And it was rough, but it was really enjoyable to beat it. Like, very satisfying. My last dude with his last weapon. If you just look at uh, the playlist area on my, um, on my YouTube, you'll find that one where it, it just gets bonkers. Because at the end, it's the last guy alive. And he's got a bazooka, and he fires it at the alien boss with the last shot he has, and he fucking kills it. And it's... It's so good. It's really terrifically, insanely good. It's a robot. I... Yeah. The robots are pretty bullshit when it comes down to, um what they can do but it's they're, they're not they are not by far the worst the worst enemy you can run into in this this there are many worse things in this game than the fucking robots the psychics are pretty horrendous um the reapers are pretty horrendous everything is pretty horrendous these guys designed their bad guys very well. And, uh, you know, where's, where's Slim, Slim Pickens, Demo Man? Because I see a closed door, and I gave you all them explosives. Oh, what? What was that? Did he just shoot himself? The fuck was that? Did you see that? Is this game glitching out? I I am confused. I am very confused. All right. I I I may have too many explosives. I I cannot physically carry them all. She mom, what is your she Bill, what is your mom let you carry so many explosives? Oh, they're Ow. Ow. Yeah. Fuck you. Now it's gonna play the stomp thing. Oh, they're coming through the- They're stomping through the cornfields, boys! All of them. They're stomping. Nice. Stomp. 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 Soundtrack of my life. Stomp. 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 Time to throw a bomb. Stomp. 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 Robot killing spree. Stomp. 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 This the game for me. Oh, God. I really hope the devs do not watch me play this. It's gonna play that until the end. Another glitch! I'm sure some people are gonna be like, Tex, we know you're crashing the game. I'm not trying to. This game's really hard. It's 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 added difficulty. That's way too close. It's time to run. Can we can we run? No. It's like in Space Station 13 where you start playing with bombs and you're like, oh, I know what, I'm dead. Where's the next robot? Nice. Wow, I would have been totally dead. What? Shoot! I like when it can just resist 30 kill. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right, look. Slim Pickens is going to lead the way. Explosives are a weapon, and I'm just going to put my gun down here so I can run out and get that gun again. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? 
We ready? Are you ready for your cameo, boys and girls? Eh. Oh no. Oh no, I hit two. And then I forgot that that takes action, so that's going to be one. Um, what? Um. There. The game is having some problems, as you can hear. Because I know I'm going to get somebody who's going to say, Tax, these crashes seem convenient. The constant stomping and the bomb snafu and the shooting through walls on accident is, is not... It's not my doing. It's not helping me out all that much. Oh, oh, ah, there. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw explosives. Oh, no, no, no! There's a robot in here, and we gotta run. We have to run. It's a robot, okay? It's a murder bot, and it's literally like a heat-seeking rape machine, and we just need to leave. I need to, I need to leave. We need to draw it out. We need to draw it out in the open. So that we can kill it. We gotta use that C4, baby. Oh my god, I have to put that down on the ground. Grab that. Oh god. Almost died. Will probably die, but still. Stomp! 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 Here's what it sounds like when robots are banging. Explosives expert obviously needs more explosives. This is how you you reach into the alien psyche. You use the weapon they fear most, the plastique. Actually, that looks like it contains alien glowing juice. I, I don't know what's in that. But I know there's a dick over here. Yeah, close enough. Horseshoes and hand grenades, you know? It'd be funny if you could put it on the teleport and beam it up to the next level. Uh, explosives expert. That's what you want to be. That's what I'll make you. Wow. That's some shit right there. That's it. I've got explosives. I'm not afraid to use them. Watch them beam down right here. Shoot me in the gut and then beam back. Shit. Alright. Um. Nice try. There's two of them in that room. Time to leave. Cause that room's about to get spicy. Oh my God, they chased us. <laughs> but the room blew up. Jesus.
We should probably build some plasma sniper rifles, I'm thinking. You stop shooting at us with your grandpa alien gun. God, that, that fucking alien base. The guy is sitting, just spraying from the hip with the turbo cannon. It's just like, what the fuck? You're gonna be a medic. You're gonna heal the hero. Who's Spade, RZA. I don't know why he's the hero, but it's probably because he lives. And living makes you a hero. Dying also makes you a hero. The difference is the casket closure on the funeral! So, here we go. We're gonna load him up. See, this... Xenonuts is one of those games where the, the strategy of building better equipment doesn't necessarily save you. In the end, it's better soldiers. Which are hard to keep when the alien kills all of them. All right, now we have to see if Suicide Squad worked. I've had it before where everyone had guns and the alien appeared here and everyone unloaded on them and we all killed each other. And it was... It was safe! The alien was fine! Okay, the room is empty. I think I could tell it was starting to glitch in that base earlier because the selector for levels was fucking up. Because you have to understand, I, I'm, I'm shooting this because I think this game was designed to operate on Windows 7. I'm on 10. And I'm also running OBS. And I've got it on one screen and OBS on the other screen. So I don't know what... Which of the oh and I'm running it modded so I don't know of all these things which are making it the most mad Because the mods seem to be okay. It doesn't seem to be like when I use certain mod items It's causing the game to flip out um, it Seems to be kind of okay about all that It just seems like oh fuck. Okay. There he is eh. It just seems like it gets mad. And there, it starts acting fucky. And then it acts really fucky. Um, so I'm going to do my best to maybe... Because I've noticed sometimes it'll get really bad when uh, I've got a longer episode. Like two hours. And it, I know it flips out on heavy time compression. I know it flips out sometimes when you just auto-calc those air battle things, especially when you're running on fast time compression. I don't know why. I just know it does. All right, let's see if we can stun some of these guys. That worked, kind of. That was what? You you're fired. That that is terrible. All right, we're gonna just throw stun grenades at that thing. See, I th I think I think the Soviet system would work versus aliens. Like, as soon as this thing lands, it goes and lands, and then. You would have, like, 80 trucks load up and just wave after wave after wave of dudes would just descend upon it. I, I don't think there would be any, any real attempt at tactics. I think that would go away. Holy shit. So Slim Pickens was our only casualty. Oh man, that is so sad. I'm so sorry. You you were shaping up to be a pretty good Xenonaut, man. Okay, why is the map there? 
the map is sticking. Let's let's try not to make the game mad. I'm really trying not to make this game mad right now. Just want another episode. And then maybe after this one. Okay, everyone's home, thank God. Alright, so. Okay, there. Mm, 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 mm. See, Spinucci the plug. And then there's another Spinucci the plug. So. This man is rightfully liquid video. There. Now, where were we? Wait. Uh-oh. Are there two liquid videos? What have I done? What have I done? I'm now just confused. Because now there's two liquid videos. Isn't there? Yeah, liquid video, liquid video. I... It, what? What have I? What have I done? I'm. Oh my god! You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna say sorry, but kept as good records as I can. Fog of war. <laughs> just keep saying bullshit. I hope you buy into it. <laughs> wow. I really don't want to go attack that alien base. I'm gonna have to at some point. Now the seat. Look at that. Once you can build those, that is where, yeah. That is, that is where the game gets very interesting. The Predator Assault Armor is neat to an extent. Um, it doesn't let, it's, it's not a be all cure all as a very limited field of view. And that's what kills you and your boys, is that field of view. Oh, look at that. That, oh, wait, you! You were a perfect chance for me to train my team. Perfect chance. Now, you have to keep in mind, this game loves, absolutely loves, to fuck you up. It, it, and it will fuck you up subtly. It will just go, you know what you're doing. You got this. And you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm getting better. And then, bam, fuck you. So, you have to, you have to save every so often. Every so often. But... It, it this also locks you into decisions you've made which is also the game fucking with you so be careful be careful i i think we can celebrate all of our men's dying oh man real battle of britain shit here I, I hope to upgrade all the aircraft so I can essentially just keep them out of my sphere of influence and just be like, No! Bye! Get out! No like! And, you know. Yeah. All right. So we're going to run into combat. What do we got for enemies? Frogulon! Okay, it's a civilian. It. What's the worst? What's the worst I could do? See? I didn't even shoot him. I didn't even shoot the guy. I didn't even shoot the civilian guys. Guys. I totally had this. Why Why everyone's so scared? It's okay. I'm here to help. We are here to save your planet from the aliens, which are the most dangerous thing here. We are here to save you. 
It's better than that guy who made the comment, uh... You're not even doing a really hard run? Ugh, pass. Look, we're not all great at games like you are, pal. That's fantastic, but I'm not a professional Let's Player. I'm a Let's Play Autist. Because, <laughs> play on artist. This is not art. People who think this is art are fairly deluded. Well, okay, there there can be art in a Let's Play, but, like, one of them was... A good example of that being incidental was... Spicy Chicken God was playing Space Station 13, and, and he, he captured this round where Shotgun Bill... Oh, man, it's doing the foot thing again. At least it's not Stomp Stomp, but... He was... He, he captured this round on Space Station 13 where Shotgun Bill made every tile on the floor a uh, RPG. E every single one, including the ones in space, was a fully loaded just RPG with the, with the rocket in it. And that's... That's, he just ran around, and, and everybody was just shooting RPGs everywhere. And Bill was like, don't you get it? This game is an RPG. Ah -ha. And that's and just crazy. And so Spicy Chicken God got wiped out fairly early on, but he just kept watching what happened. And it was so crazy. It was a really fucking crazy round of Space Station 13. And it was pretty much art. I mean... They had an emotional response. Like, it, it, I really got into it. I was like, this is amazing. Because you, you start to see how the station changes. And it starts playing um, that song. Uh, what was it? Was that Hallelujah? Or no. So Mad World played. And then I want to say it was, it was Mad World. And then a cover of, like, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. I mean, it was... It it really started getting crazy. And... and yeah, it that that was art, incidental perhaps, but I think it was, and I, I guess that's that's what makes art question mark is whether or not it has an emotional you know response. I mean, I've I've seen what people sell as art, which I don't think qualifies as art or not. Um, you have what people sell as art is just what's marketable because like someone will someone will just paint something that's abstract and they'll be like four thousand dollars and I'm like yeah or someone will paint something that's abstract and they'll say forty million dollars and it sells it's kind of like um Banksy did that film that was uh, please exit through the gift shop. I thought that was fucking brilliant, because it really shows how easy it is to essentially create someone who is fake as an artist and have the art world go, oh, well, this is legitimate. And the question of whether or not it is legitimate is ultimately up to you. Insane. But, um... Interesting, but insane. All right, we're gonna just kick into this thing, and we're gonna we're gonna let these low level guys get some fucking experience, or they'll die. Whatever. Look, we got two liquid videos, so one of them has to die. Shield guy, you're up. Hakeem. The guy in that building needs to go. This this team back here, they're just watching. We gotta assault that guy too. We gotta kick this door open and get in here. Oh my god, we got a guy behind us. And they're shooting at us. Ah, oh, we're suppressed, we're pinned down. Maybe we shouldn't have stood in a giant square boxy formation in the middle of the street. But, you know, I'm just... I'm just saying. Okay. Barrels that don't blow up. That This game is full-on troll at times. I I always... I, I love when a game developer does shit like that. 
just says you, you see ex- barrels and you're like oh well, they'll explode and then they don't they're just they're just fucking barrels why would you think they'd blow up not all barrels explode what are you weird oh my sweet fucking god all right so we're gonna throw this here and we're gonna close the door And we're going to get shot like 50 times. Oh my god. Alright. You guys are going to turn on this dude. And hopefully... Shoot at him a bit. Get out of here, re! Wow, I just played the animation, didn't actually show the bullets. I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying to get Jagged Alliance 2 to work. I really hope it does. And then Arcanum for the holidays, maybe. Uh, if I can get it all to be happy. I'm going to run a few mods to make Arcanum work um, better, hopefully. Plump Helmet Punk did it, so I know it is certainly possible. I watched a bit of his campaign, and um, I, I'm i going to play probably, I would say, two Arcanum runs. Maybe not back-to-back, -back, but there will be two. And um, I'm going to play one that's a Dick Wizard. And Dick Wizard is pretty amazing. Um, and then, then I'm going to play a Trash Panda run, which can be hilarious. And a Trash Panda... A Trash Panda run is essentially where you play a class that can uh, build uh, anything out of the garbage. And so you just root through the garbage of large cities and just become a tinker and inventor and you're building by the end like clockwork automatons to do your bidding and clockwork spiders and you know, you've got like an exoskeleton steam-powered power armor and, you know, smart bombs and a machine gun and all this other stuff. And you start off as just some crazy steampunk tinker and then by the end you're this horrifying person. Oh, boy. Got you, bitch. Oh, wow. Okay, no one died, thankfully. Let's see, we got some promotions here. Very important. Alright, now that my aircraft should be a little better. At least from the rearming standpoint. All right, now we've got that one down. Okay, is everyone alive-ish? All right, we're, we'll be fine. We're gonna we're gonna send in the team again, trying to build this team up, which is very important. Um, you you have to build your teams up. You have to build your teams up. This is, if you have a near total wipe, you gotta build those teams up. They gotta get strong. They gotta, they gotta be flexing nuts, man. They gotta, they gotta get big and swole. Oh yeah, brother. They gotta be the followers of the swoley Bible. I mean, they need to be, they need to be like big dudes. All right, and we got one, and it's a frogman's. Shieldmans are going forward. Oh man.
I think in the future, the military, rather than train people for basic training. Oh my god, you killed Farmer John, you dick. He's the best alfalfa guy in these parts. Um, look, I don't think they grow alfalfa that far north. I'm gonna get an angry letter. Someone's like, listen here. We grow alfalfa wherever we please. Um... I'm going to shoot you with a bullet. A bullet from a gun. But no, I, I, I think that in the military, or in the future of the military, it would be like free cyber implants. Like, they cut your arms and legs off, essentially. Replace them with cyber implants. You get to keep those. Lifelong. They're fairly good. And uh, then they don't spend time on basic training in terms of making you do push-ups, sit-ups, or whatever else. They just train you all the combat skills by loading that muscle memory set into your limbs and then teaching you how to use and make the right decisions with the tactics and training you're given. So basic, basic training would be the same amount of time. It would just be more spent on the really high-end stuff, not the get-you-in-shape stuff. That and the psychological breakdown build-up stuff as well. Oh my god, they keep killing all the farmers. What if this is their... This is their... Their whole game is to make the price of corn go up high enough to where... Cornflakes become economically unviable, and well, what if this is terrifying? Leave our corn alone, the corn goes on its side. E oh, well. Where are his feet, bitch? Let him have it. We always shoot at your highest ranking, dude. It's the only lieutenant we have, and they're shooting the fuck out of him. Like, exclusively. There he is. All right, let's run some guys this way. Because I think, yeah, there it is. There's that UFO. All right, we're just going to run this team that way. And this team is going to run over here and guard the hay bales. Or alfalfa bales. I think that's hay. And uh, I think we need to guard that with our lives. Because if not, our, our burger stockpiles will become diminished, and over time we will lose our authority. As a burger eating peoples! No, 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 no! You fucking dicks! With your lasers! And your laser dicks! I'm gonna shoot you all. I'm gonna teach you to stop resisting. Bad! Sloan sends his regards. Stop resisting. <laughs> that shit works. That shit works good. Well, now that we got a bad idea. Forward. You're gonna maybe guess? No, he's fine. Why they shoot True Gath? Once again, they shoot the, the ranking man. I think the future of the military is going to be really interesting. Because I saw that movie Surrogates, which is an okay film. Um, where'd, that, where'd that guy come from? Was he hiding in the barn? Probably. But no, that, that movie Surrogates, that was interesting. Um, 
I mean, not great acting, but interesting. And, uh, I, yeah, fuck you, bud. But, um, I, I was thinking that that would be the future of the military is a military would essentially be a hundred dudes sitting in like VR pods, constantly taking over combat drones, running around like war zone. And when one dies, it's like, oh, well, load into the next one. It's no big deal. I think that would be probably what would happen. You'd have Air Force dudes flying drones overhead. You'd have Army combat, Twitch combat dudes that are just... Imagine all those guys that are really fucking good at Counter-Strike, you know? Imagine all those dudes who are really amazingly good at Counter-Strike and, oh, well, they, they grenaded him. That is unfortunate. Wow, they were really upset at Grenade Guy, or at Shield Guy. It appears we will have one liquid video. You know what? No. No. Stop resisting! Stop resisting. I find you, you are under arrest, people of Earth. Stop resisting. Stop your alien resistance. This is working. This is working real good. And if, if you want to know where the stop resisting meme is played out on this channel, the LA Noir, especially the highlights reel done by Jace, oh God. He makes me look like a much better channel. Uh, like, by and large, he makes me look like a much more competent YouTube channel. He's very good at what he does. I bet he could be a full-time editor. I will never ask him of that because I respect him too much as a person uh, to, to sink to uh, bettering my channel. But uh, you'll find a lot of the big boys do that. They just have a full-time editor, and then they just sit down and record for 8 or 10 hours a day, and then an editor comes on shift and edits for 8 to 10 hours a day. Like, they watch all that footage of the day, and they clip out the highlights, and then sometimes they'll have a third guy that takes those highlights, that may be 30 to 45 minutes of good stuff of that 8 hours, and then turns that into a 10-minute highlight reel. And we'll do that like once a month or once a week or whatever. Different paces for different folks. I'm, I'm, I guess, a more organic approach to making video and content. <sighs> you know, that's, that's just how it is. It's a more organic approach where I'm just like, look, I am what I am. Wow. Okay, stop resisting is really becoming useful. And I'm I'm kind of impressed with how this is playing out. Is this a trap? I mean, we're just stunning these dudes left, right, and center. But yeah, I... I like the just appearing as I am. I'm really humbled that people are still kind of into that. Because uh, long plays are the way of the dodo. Um, they're they're all disappearing. YouTube is deranking them. They're making sure that people don't see them. It It's just not cost effective for YouTube to have someone upload like 10 gigs of HD footage of them talking over a video game. So I may be one of the last... Which is saddening to me, because I remember when long plays were what entertained me and got me into this. And they're almost all gone. The people just don't do it anymore. So, I don't know. It's really depressing, in a way. I'm trying not to get too depressed. I mean, it's, it's video stuff, so... Not really worth getting bent out of shape about, but damn. It does make a heckin' sad, I'll say that much. Alright, shield guys are going to run up there and tase the fuck out of people. This is a game that encourages rage. I'm just letting you know.
This game that also encourages creative problem solving. So, but the AI is definitely fucky, and it's I would say it's it's on that line between I cheat and I'm a dick, and I I think it's sometimes in between. Now, to make a crafty AI, most people cheat. They like the alien isolation AI. For example, people said it was really smart and people talked a lot about how great it was and how it was just, it was, it changes the world of role playing game, or sorry, not role playing games, uh, games in general. The AI was light years ahead of everyone else's and everything is on fire. And some of this is my fault. Um, some, some of it. But in truth, the AI cheated because it knew where the player was at all times. And it, it had a little bin in there that says, if I'm not within this close to the player, I have to be this close to the player. So it was constantly being able to judge where you were and then move to where you were or near where you were. And then it would engage a different pro behavior where it stalks around and quote unquote looks for you. But it, it really doesn't look for you. It's... It's not it's not as smart as people thought it out to be. And then this one, well, and you'll see this in a lot of real-time strategy games where the AI knows where you are at all times. That's why artillery will constantly drop exactly where it needs to once they get it. Um, and it may have it may have some conditions on it, like it cannot drop artillery unless it actually has line of sight on it on a unit. That may prevent it from dropping artillery. But, okay, hold on. All my dudes are in here. God, we'd all be, like, choking to alien gas. Alien gas. All right, that's it. Step in, shoot. Where's the other one? There. Fuck you. Welcome to Earth, fucko. I know I had to shoot that up. We have any gas? No. You would not believe this. The fucking ice cream man is outside, and it's about 28 degrees. You just shot him in the back. The ice cream man outside is like doubling down. He does not give a fuck. He is he is like, you know what? Every day is ice cream day. And he he does not care. I mean he's he's gone all in. And they're shooting British Pete in the back, and I know British Pete would say it's cause I'm black, and I would say put it back in the deck. You don't play that card here. They're probably just shooting because they they have no trigger discipline. Also, maybe because you're black. I don't know. Depends on where that guy's from. I didn't check. Uh, where Where's he from? True Geth, are you racist? You're shooting British Pete because he's black. He's like, damn territorials. True Geth is Scottish, but he doesn't sound like he's Scottish. Stop resisting. I'm going to give you a bop. There you go. Nap time. Nap time! So the civilians didn't make it. I I hate to say this, but, uh... Predictable. Alright, we're doing alright. Seems like a lot of UFOs are coming out of Africa. I wonder if other parts of the world have UFO spottings. I, I know that, like, South America does, but... Are there, like, African UFO spottings? I've, I've heard a few from, like, um, New Zealand? Here and there? Where they're like, UFOs, mate! Kiwi! Something. Some are, like, spotted by um, airline pilots and, and stuff like that, which is pretty scary. I mean, who knows? It could just be government shit, you know? I, I've always thought UFOs are... They're generally... I've always thought UFOs were um, largely unidentified flying objects. Like, l literally what they, they people claim they are. It's just like, we don't know what it is. It's not ours. And then it turns out to be a special weapons project or, you know, a, an unmanned drone. Because imagine seeing one of those 
stealth drones before you knew they existed, you'd be like, oh my god! Imagine seeing, you know, the YB-49 flying wing or the Horton flying wing before you knew that existed. And you would say, it's alien technology. It's, no, it's just advanced technology. There's a difference. Okay, I need to shoot down another one of these. Ooh, I have a Marauder now. Nice. I'm gonna try to shoot down as many of my dudes as possible. Oh, yes, another one. Fuck yeah, all right. Because I want to get all Marauders. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, see a little scout guy? Another great chance to train my dudes up. Another great fucking chance. Alright, Trugath, you're getting changed to heavy weapons. And Red Wizard, I'm sorry, but you're getting changed to heavy weapons now. And you, your strength is very low, but you're you're getting changed to heavy weapons. We need lots of heavy weapons people now. You, Spinucci, no, you're you're gonna get changed to heavy weapons. You're very strong. You're you're quite strong as well. Heavy weapons. Oh no, you can you can go back to being a sniper then. I guess. Weirdo. So yeah, um, we we need as many as many as many as many heavy weapons dudes as possible. At this point in the game, with the heavy plasma blasties, because you can keep their head down unless they're robots and and don't care, in which case you can't. But you, you can, in theory, keep their head down, and then they, you know. All right, there. So, yeah. If ever, you, if ever you get your ass handed to you by doing an alien base raid or something like that, keep in mind that you need very badly to go through quite a few missions to retrain your boys. And the Stunt Resisting Squad, oh my god. Talk about a cool unit patch, just having a shield and a taser. And it just says, like, nap time under it. Like, the top part says, stop resisting. The bottom is just says, nap time. <laughs> Latin for from the stars to nap time, so it's like, ad astra... And then per whatever, um, I don't know what nap time would be in, in Latin. I know Ad Astra is from the stars. But, uh, what is it gonna be? Oh, yeah, alright. Wow, two of them in the tractor shed. Stop resisting squad needs to go in there and introduce them to nap time. But yeah, no, if, if if you get a total wipe, just find the little UFO, scout UFOs, and do what you do. That's what they're for. Hi. I'm here to I'm here to fence you in, son. But notice how they right there to shoot my uh, lieutenant and no one else. All right, we're we're gonna knock this alien landing ship out, and then it's all over. And that might be the end of the episode. Um, I know, I know, some of you're like, but thanks, it's okay. Don't worry about it. In the very last episode, I will probably uh, publish the total list of volunteers and people who were conscripted into the war. 
Um, and believe me, I, I I put up the list. I check it for a few, I let it sit for a few days, and then I check it. And if if you don't get your time in by the time the list is done, I'm sorry, but you're not in the war. And if you don't get these things, and you're like, I want in, make sure your notifications are fucking set, bud. That's all I can say. Um, I I know I talk a lot about YouTube fucking with channels, but there's a prime example. There's people who set notifications and then they get turned off and you don't get to be part of it anymore. No matter how bad you want to. Sorry. YouTube is just determined it's not for you and you can't have it. I also wish there was a mechanic for training your dudes in between combat or um, figuring out ways to bolster them in some way. I mean, okay, cyber soldiers is a bit far to go from, like, a crash cyber program. Where it's like, cut their arms and legs off and then replace them. Just, you're not going to do that in, like, six months. Just to give you an example that, like, it, it it's it's unheard of in six months to have a successful program of any scale. Where you take something from, like, blueprints to build. If you can do that in six months, that's crazy. And even then, it takes years to develop the ultimate version of that that people would recognize. So, take like the P-51, it's, it's like around a year from blueprints to build. And that they're like, that's amazing! North American aviation is crazy! And then it took many years and iterations to finally come up with a P-51D Mustang with a Merlin engine that had the high horsepower output rating that we recognize as being the ultimate version of that. And it doesn't matter how much money you have, it's just a measure of doing the science and going, okay, this shit doesn't work. That shit doesn't work. We have to do a lot of science to figure out how how not to kill people. That's really hard with science, you know. Also, shooting fence posts is these guys' like primary job at this point. Now, I'm, I'm waiting for this guy to become unsuppressed suddenly and whip a grenade right at my dick. I mean, right at it. Right at the cock and balls. Just right right there. and Just like, boop! You have been suppressed! That's, I know, not much, but... I'm throwing lead at him to make him go away. That works. Is you really can't afford to lose people to this sort of pathetic shit at this point in game. Also, I know some people have been saying, but Tex, you need to make more episodes. You've been cutting back. It's like, yeah, my doctor said I, I need to actually not die. Um, apparently, working yourself to death is a thing. I thought that was just a turn of phrase, but it actually is a thing. Apparently, it, it affects all sorts of things, like your heart rate and your blood pressure and stress and all of those other other things. You know, when you start getting, like, heart palpitations from how much you work, you realize maybe you're working too hard. So, just, just uh, for instance, always get a heart... Always get a doctor's checkup, you know, while you can. Just a just a thing. Even even at my reduced rate of making footage, I think I'm probably a lot more active than most channels you're gonna find. Cause it, it there is something at least every week. And this is not my full time job. I I do not think I am viable. To ha ever have this be a full-time job. That, and I think that would scare the shit out of me. Taking, like, okay. it. I think it's it's better to know when you're working a job and the job's going to be there. Like, a month from now, a week from now, a year from now. That job's going to be there. Along with, you know, like, health benefits and health insurance. And, you know, a savings plan. And all that other stuff. Um, I, I, I think that's that's pretty pretty good, but if you did this for a living, oh hell. That would be insane. I mean 
there's people who try and there's people who do, but e even if you do, like if ever you are unsuccessful, if ever you misspeak and offend someone, if ever someone destroys your channel by just launching a hate crusade against you, drinking that haterade, you know, if, if anyone fucks with you at any point or your work at any point, watch this, stop resisting, stop resisting, stop resisting. Oh my God. So good. But if anyone fucks with your income significantly, or if YouTube does, if YouTube goes after you and decides your channel doesn't need to be seen anymore, and they, they press the buttons behind the scenes that make that happen, you're done. And then you have a few years on your resume where it's like, what did you do? I made, I made fart videos on the internet. And you're done. You're, you're like, you're actually fired. You, you, well, not fired, but you, you won't be able to get a job. And there's some people who could because they run their own network. And yeah, you could, you could work into all sorts of media stuff from that. Be a very successful marketer. But if you're just a talking face in a chair, I don't think that's a life skill. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm old fashioned. Oh, man. All right. He's not going to be able to go first. But this shield phalanx idea is is turning out to be a pretty good idea. Because the stat resisting thing is making me laugh. All right. Let's all, let's all get into cover. And maybe next episode, all well, all these people will lose their lives in in a horrible base raid gone wrong. Base raids gone sexual. Stop resisting. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Holy shit, that that is working. Stop resisting. I may reorganize my forces based on this stop resisting idea. Stay out of my airspace, re. You stay out of my fucking airspace. That's my airspace. Oh my god. I mean, these guys are starting bases in like two or three seconds. So we have a problem. We need to do some base busting. We really do. I mean, we're able to keep them kind of out of the skies for a bit, but we really need to do some base busting. That's going to be my next episode, I think, is I'm going to try to bust two bases. Oh, shit. I fucked that up. Oh, well. Nice. Nice. Yeah, next episode's going to be some base busting. Because these marauders are awesome. I mean, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Service ceiling is 128,000 feet. Um, but the top speed is almost four clicks an hour. No, sorry, kilometers an hour. That's not four clicks an hour. What the fuck? Four clicks an hour. Ugh. Three. Th it's 4,000 clicks an hour. You can turn 120 degrees in a second. Well, so can these. Yeah, it's 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 like, oh god. Now, these aircraft are ridiculous. And then after that, you get like an SR-71 thing. That's pretty crazy. So, yeah, next next game we're gonna have to bust some of these bases. I'm probably gonna get that South American base, then the North American base, then I'm gonna try to take out this base over here in what they call Indochina, but that is not in. Indochina. 
All right. Anyways. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>